Right now, researchers are back at Brevard County Schools collecting water samples. They'll be visiting the remaining five beachside campuses, including Satellite High, where a group of former students have raised red flags of a potential cancer cluster. News 6's Sashel Saunders is at Satellite High, where the testing is expected to finish. This is the last stop for testing and the main cause for concern, Satellite High School. It's where the nearly two dozen women who say they all got cancer went to school. 20 plus women with cancer, same age range, early 30s or younger, and one thing they think they found in common, Satellite High School. Day two. And now for the second day, researchers are traveling school to school along Brevard County beach areas trying to find if there's something in the water. There were no indications of issue as of yet, but we need to submit to the lab for analysis. You can't tell just by looking or smelling um, whether there's any issues. Vials filled with water from fountains, sinks to test for dangerous chemicals in the groundwater. Skeptics are pointing fingers toward Patrick Air Force Base, where it's believed firefighting foams may have seeped into the ground. But school leaders say they've never heard complaints about school water until now. Not on this level and not to my knowledge, nothing, nothing like this at all. Whatever the case, they want to find out and soon before students are back in school for safety. We're, you know, uh, not hiding anything. We're going to do the best we can to get to the bottom if any issue is a, is a concern at all. The test results should come back in about three weeks, just days before the start of school. Reporting at Satellite High School, Sashel Saunders, News 6.